Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will look at the laser module from Gorilla Cell ESP32 Development Kit. Laser is an acronym that stands for Light Amplification by Stimulated Emission of Radiation. Hence, it produces a very narrow beam of light. In this lesson, you will learn how to control a laser by turning it on or turning it off. This module has three pins, namely G for the ground pin, V for the supply voltage, and S for the control signal pin. For this experiment, you will also need an ESP32 development board that will serve as the main microcontroller, a Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield which will extend the ESP32 pins to pin headers for easy circuit connections. A 3-pin female-to-female DuPont jumper wires. And of course, the laser module itself. I already have it set up in advance where the ESP32 is attached on top of the ESP32 shield. I also attach the DuPont jumper wires to the laser module by following a color coding, which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, and S for the signal pin. I attach the other end of the DuPont jumper wires to the ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers, which is black to black, red to red, and yellow to yellow pin headers. For this experiment, I choose GPIO25 to serve as the control signal pin for the laser module. Now for the software part, I prepared here two example source code for this demonstration. For example number one, let me click the run button. And let's use the REPL to control the laser module. To turn on the laser, we can send laser.on. Open and close parentheses and hit enter. To turn it up, we just need to send a laser that off. Open and close parentheses and hit enter. Simple, huh? So now let's go to example number two. Let me click the stop button to terminate the example number one. Now let me select example number two and click the run current script. Since a laser module can produce a very narrow light, I decided why not create an SOS signal light that you can point somewhere to call for a help. Now to begin sending an SOS signal, we need to press this button which is connected on GPIO0 and set it as an input and the internal pull up is enabled which makes this button as an active low switch hence a switch value of zero means that the button is pressed when the switch is pressed the laser is turned off is SOS is toggled, the steps is reset to zero, and there is a time delay here for about 300 milliseconds to provide a simple debouncing and to make sure that the button press is detected. Let me press the button, which will send an SOS signal, which is three short pulse then three long pulse, then again three short pulse. Now to turn it off, just press the button again. And it should turn off the laser module and stop the SOS signal. The two function in a single switch is achieved with the help of the SOS plug. If this SOS plug is set to true, it means sending of SOS signal should be started. These lines of code 
is the non-blocking code. Which means you can process other functions or do other tasks while still achieving the main function. This take advantage of the tick ms from time module which is quite identical with the milis function of the Arduino. Let me press the button again to start sending an SOS signal. So that's all for now. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here, including additional information, can be found at my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any concern regarding this tutorial, be sure to write your message in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless!